Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've discovered the cheapest meals to make, and not only are they the cheapest, but I also think they're the healthiest and easiest meals to make. You may have guessed it, I'm talking about soup, and I'm actually talking about entree soups. What are entree soups, you ask? Well, they're one-pot meals that contain protein, vegetables, and fiber. I'm not talking about the single ingredient soups like butternut squash soup, broccoli soup, etc. I'm talking about a well-balanced one-pot meal. And actually, let me back up. If you remember, I said I would be sharing my lunch ideas with you. Well, I came up with an excellent menu that I knew was going to be super affordable and give me lots of variety. But then when I actually went to implement it, I realized all I want to eat is soup. And I think that's because the room that I'm in at work is so cold that people are literally wearing coats and hats. I think there's something wrong with the air in that room because it's only in that part of the building. And I'm just so excited every day to eat my hot soup. And I love that I'm able to make it so cheap cheap. It's helping me save money on my food costs, and so far every soup I've made has cost less than a dollar. The base of most of my soups lately has been garlic and ginger, and I've been getting an excellent price on these. One of my viewers said that she freezes her ginger, and since I'm able to get such a good price right now, I think I'll be doing that with mine next weekend. I'll just chop it into pieces and then put it in a freezer bag. I've been making soups on Sunday night and also early Wednesday morning and sometimes Friday morning, but I'll usually make two servings each and I start with the garlic and ginger and I just add it to the boiling water. I could saute this first in oil and then add the water, but I've just been doing it this way and it tastes great and it saves me a little bit of time, so I'm going with it. This day I added some cabbage. I ran out of this later in the week, but I told myself I wasn't going to allow myself to go to the store again because I'd already spent what was in my budget for the week, so I made the next soup without it and it was just as good. And I know you guys are probably sick of seeing lentils by now, but there's a reason I'm using these in my soups and that's because they cook in about 15 to 20 minutes. And these are going to add a lot of fiber and protein to my dish. And I'm only using a very small amount of these. These are not a main ingredient in the soup. It's changing the way that I'm thinking about beans. In the past, I think I've always looked at them as a main ingredient, like making a pot of beans, instead of thinking of it as an accessory ingredient in a recipe. I don't know why, but I've never really considered them as accessories, but really it doesn't take very many to give you a lot of extra protein and fiber. I've been making lots of variations of this soup, but my main ingredients are always garlic, ginger, turmeric, salt, potatoes, and lentils, and then whatever vegetables I was able to get on sale. And potatoes have been super cheap right now. I got these four pounds for a dollar, so 25 cents per pound. So this potato, I have it coming in at 18 cents. Later in the video, I'll be showing you another kind of soup, but this is the one that I've been eating the most lately. I have a lot of viewers that watch my channel that can't afford groceries, and I want to let those viewers know that I'm still going to be making these extreme budget recipes even though I'm working. I just won't be able to do as many meals for you in one video, and I think the menus with the recipes and the ingredients list were especially helpful, so maybe I'll be able to do more of those when I get settled into my new position and I have that one day off every week or every other week. I'm actually not sure yet and I think that starts May 1st. Anyway, I'm gonna add in some green beans here and some of these froze in my fridge for some reason, but they'll be just fine in the soup. And if you're a regular viewer, you know that I can get two of these green beans for about nine cents in my area, which is $2.99 per pound. And I think that's about how much I paid at Trader Joe's, but I'm actually not certain because I can't find the receipt. I use a lot of fresh food because it's so cheap and readily available to me, but you might use more frozen or canned vegetables. And then I've also been adding in some spinach with my soup at the very end, just to give it that added nutritional boost. I like to chop this into bite-sized pieces, and then I'll add it into my soup right before it's finished. So I'm just gonna chop this up and have it ready to go. I've perfected the timing on this, and when the lentils are about halfway done, I'll add in the potatoes. And it looks like I'm gonna need a little more water here. And I also did add salt to the water, but I don't think I got it on camera.
One of my viewers told me that combining black pepper with turmeric helps to increase its antioxidant effects, and I looked this up and it does drastically boost the nutritional benefits of turmeric. I thought that was so interesting. I guess there's an ingredient in pepper. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's either piperin or piperin, but it's responsible for this. I've been taking a roll to go along with my soup. I really like to dip it in the broth and eat it along with it. And I picked up these French rolls from Trader Joe's. These are definitely not the cheapest option. They're about 41 cents per roll. You can get these at a much better deal at Sam's Club at 12 cents each. I'll probably get those next time I'm at Sam's Club and then just throw most of them in the freezer. Another option is to purchase the Great Value French Bread at Walmart, which I noticed they just dropped the price to a dollar, so I'm not sure if that's going to be temporary or permanent, but I was really surprised to see that. And in that case, I would put that in the freezer, and then I would just cut off a thick slice every morning and put it in my lunch, and that would be about 10 cents each. Remember a couple videos back, I showed you this Hydra Peak container that I picked up on discount at TJ Maxx. It's ended up being my favorite lunch item so far. I fill this up with hot water from the tap before I add in my boiling soup and it stays nice and hot until lunchtime. I usually fill this at about 645 and then eat at noon just for reference. And I like to add a little nutritional yeast to this. This is completely optional. It adds to the savoriness and gives it an umami rich flavor besides adding extra nutrition to the soup. But I talked about that in another video. The only slightly negative thing about this Hydra Peak container is that you do have to be really careful when you thread the lid to make sure that it gets on perfectly so that it doesn't spill out. But if you're mindful, then it's not too bad. I toasted my roll for a few minutes and I have to push it down so it fits into this container, but that's fine because I'm going to be eating it in little bits and pieces in my soup anyway. And then I usually do take some fruit. I have one of these in the morning for breakfast and another after my lunch. And usually I peel these and then put the little pieces in the plastic container, but I'm running late today. So I'm just going to throw these in there. And then usually I have another container of vegetables that ends up being whatever was on sale that week, but I don't have those today, which is fine. I think this will be plenty. Here are the costs for the soup the way I made it. The only thing I didn't add into this is the nutritional yeast, and that's going to add about 18 cents per serving, but that's optional. And of course, I used the expensive rolls, so you could definitely get this cost down. And remember, it's about using whatever is on sale in your area. And I do love this soup so much. And best of all, I like the way it makes me feel. I've taken some other lunches you know, like rice and stir fry and things like that. And I find I get an afternoon fatigue after eating the rice, but I actually don't after the soup. It's kind of a win all the way around for me. So I've just been really loving taking different kinds of soups. I've been making lots of variations of the same soup with just slightly different ingredients. And this way I don't get tired of eating the same thing. Next up, I'll be making a completely different kind of soup. But first I had to go to the market. I have a good supply of pantry staples. So all I really need to purchase on a weekly basis are the fresh fruits and vegetables. And what I purchased represent the very best deals at my local market right now. I found this huge bag of asparagus for only $2. So I thought I could add this into soups and I do love asparagus with pasta and also in stir fries as well as just roasted in the oven. This week they had these heads of celery for only 35 cents each. I can't even remember the last time I found celery that cheap. I love this in my stir fries and also I'll be adding that into my soup and maybe I can also make some snacks with it. They had these little bags of peppers for $2.50 each. I try to get these whenever they're on sale. I like to take these in my lunch and I also like to cut these little circles and add these to salads. 
I picked up these black chickpeas to try. I spotted these at the market and I had no idea these even existed. So I thought I would give these a try, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to fit these into this week's video. It's not like I can just throw these into my morning soups because they do take longer to cook, which is why I've been using a lot of lentils lately. And then I got some garlic. They've been having an excellent deal on these. They had two of these bags for $3, which basically comes down to 30 cents per head of garlic. And then they had ginger for 99 cents a pound, which I thought was a great deal. So I got two of these big pieces for 96 cents. And I've kind of been obsessed with ginger lately. I've just enjoyed it so much. I got this big bag of russet potatoes for $2.09. These were four pounds for a dollar, which is about as cheap as I see them at that market. And then I picked up this okra because I love this roasted in my toaster oven. It was $2.59 a pound, so I spent $1.87 on this bag. But look how beautiful the stalks are. I'm not sure I've ever seen okra this fresh and beautiful. And then I picked up a bunch of cilantro because it was only 33 cents and I use this in a lot of dishes. So I spent a total of $13.59 and I think that these fresh veggies are going to go a long way towards my meals this week. And I'm just going to clean up this celery and get this ready and meal prep for my meals. Because the celery was such a good deal, I'm sure it's old. So I want to get this in water right away before it starts wilting. I actually haven't had celery in a while because it's not been on sale, so I was excited when I saw this at the market. One of the benefits of buying fresh foods on sale is that you automatically get variety in your diet and it helps me to appreciate my food more and have gratitude for it. I have one container for snacking and then I'm going to cut up another one in the size of pieces that I like to throw into my soups. Celery is one of my favorite ingredients in stir fry, so I'll be making those soon. This just makes preparing my meals so easy during the week and this should last me a few weeks. I could even throw some of this in a bag and put it in the freezer for future use, but I don't think it's going to make it that long. For tomorrow's lunch, I think I'll take some peanut butter and celery. I haven't had this in a while, and I think this will be really good. And some people like their celery with cream cheese. Do you guys remember when I did the English tea sandwich video? That was a really fun video. And in that video, I discovered how amazing radishes are with cream cheese. I made, um, I actually made a cream cheese dip with some herbs that went along with it, and it was so good. I would have never thought to eat radishes with cream cheese, but it's a perfect combination. You have that spice of the radish against the creaminess of the cream cheese. So good. For the okra that I bought, I'm going to prep some of these to add into my soups and I also might make some southern fried okra with cornmeal this weekend. The next soup that I'm going to make for my lunches is going to utilize the vegetables I got on sale and I'm also going to add in some meatballs for protein and also some tomatoes just to go a completely different direction from the kind of soups that I've been having lately. And this time, as you can see, I'm going to saute my garlic and ginger for a little while before I add in my water and I'll go ahead and add in my spices as well.
I like to keep meatballs in my freezer because they make for some really fast meals, whether it be with pasta or on a meatball sandwich or even in soup like I'm going to do today. And they don't look as big on camera, but these balls are actually quite large and three of these make a serving. I'm using plant-based meatballs and I actually love this kind because they have such a great flavor to them but you can use whatever kind you want whether it be chicken turkey beef if you want them to have a nice dark color you can always roast them in the toaster oven or the air fryer and then throw them in the soup it's a really great way to add in some inexpensive protein especially if you're a meat eater because it really only takes a few balls per serving and then i added in some of my chopped asparagus and i found this roasted corn in the freezer so i'm just going to add a tiny amount of that in here which i think will be really nice with this particular mix of vegetables and then i'm adding a few of my green beans that accidentally froze in my refrigerator but they'll be just fine in this soup and then finally i'm adding in some chopped spinach I've been loving having spinach in my soups lately. Usually I'll buy a bag of the spinach and then it's just me eating it. So I have to use it in pretty much everything that I'm eating, whether it's pasta or sandwiches or soups. And I really do enjoy it in all of those. I kept the meatballs whole in the soup just because I thought they looked so pretty. But obviously these could be cut in half or even fourths and then added into the soup. And these were some that I had roasted in my toaster oven first. I let this simmer for a while and then I tasted it to make sure that it was perfectly seasoned. I'm taking a mandarin orange and some peppers that I got at the store and I also have a couple tomatoes and radishes in there. Last week I purchased these little bags of cuties for $2.50 at my local market but I also noticed Walmart had them in the $3 range. I think this is my new favorite soup. It already has a nice, rich, kind of creamy flavor. And I know it's gonna be even better when I eat it at lunchtime because all of those flavors have even more time to develop. I'm taking some black coffee along with a breakfast burrito. I get to work early and then I like to sit in my car and eat my breakfast before going into work. My last soup was about 70 cents per serving. Obviously adding in the meatballs made this much more expensive. This came in about $1.68 per serving. I actually think this might be less if you were using regular meatballs, meaning not plant-based. And don't forget you can always use the little sausages and cut those into balls to make it much less expensive. And this soup was even better at lunchtime. This broth is so flavorful. I haven't had asparagus in my soup for so long, but it's really good. And these meatballs have such amazing flavor. They had an ingredient in the meatballs that I couldn't quite identify, but I looked it up and I guess it's fennel. They are just so good in this soup. I used my spoon to break up the meatballs into bite-sized pieces. I've made this a few times since this video, and one time I didn't have enough left over, so I added in some of these chickpeas that I had in the fridge that we had been using for salad, and it just bulked it up a little bit and gave me enough for one more lunch. This has definitely become my new favorite soup. That's it guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you Sunday, if not sooner, on my other channel. Morning has broken, my windows are open. Wanna feel the wind blow through my hair. 
Which way do I follow? What happens tomorrow? I turn to you and hope you can guide the way. Sometimes 